Brightwater actually approached Inglewood Arts Hub and we went from there. So I suggested, well, why don't we have a workshop called A Day at the Beach? So the participants went on a little bus trip to Scarborough Beach, which happened to be a beautiful, magnificent, sunny Perth day. And then the next day we started the workshops which we are holding here at Inglewood Arts Hub. What they've produced has just blown me away. The talent that's there is just absolutely incredible. And the ideas they came with, each person had their own individual idea and brought it to the table and then just sat down and started implementing it with just asking me questions and just getting some help along the way. Yeah, the idea of getting involved in something like this was just you know, very exciting, different. We get out of the, of the building, we meet new people and uh, hopefully achieve something at the end of it. So yeah, all good. I spent best part of 30 odd, 38 years as a copywriter. So words are my thing rather than uh, visual arts. So I thought I'd, uh, you know, put something together with letters, letters drawn in the sand, which I thought was quite a personal touch. I'm a big fan of Ken Doan's work and his approach to his artwork is so simple yet so beautiful and it's a very relaxed way of painting. I have a beautiful book which is actually signed by him but I use that to show the guys that you, things don't have to be perfect, that it can be just loose and how you see things, just lots of colour, lots of shapes. There's lots of activity going on on the beaches and um, one of my thoughts were, well, you associate beach umbrellas with going to the beach. Uh, so I did a couple of beach umbrellas and a uh, couple of people lying on the beach and, and then I was con concentrating on the the colours of the um, the waves as they break on the beaches, lots of lots of shading and stuff. The biggest thing I think that I've noticed as to what they got out of it is confidence. There's this like, look at mine, <laughs> everybody come and have a look at my painting or holding it up and showing everyone what they've done and saying I love it, I like it, I don't want to do any more, I'm happy with my painting. Well, yeah, just that really, you know, being able to be creative um, under some, you know, very good circumstances here where we've been provided with a lot of uh, equipment and um, help from the carers here. Yvonne, she actually followed my, I have a bit of a procedure in my work and she wanted to go down my path. So she's 94 years old and I don't think she's ever done an abstract painting at all, but now she's completing her third one. So, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Well, I was going to do a beach scene, like all of us, and um, I did a, a rough map, you know, what I was going to do. And when I came to the studio here, the girl said, oh, I think we'll do an abstract painting. Well, I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> abstract paintings, you know, and meant nothing to me. So that's how I did the first one. And I was so pleased with it, I can tell you. It was lovely. And to do two more today, I couldn't get over it. <laughs> I think just, there's just a lot of happiness there, and but the biggest thing I've, I've gotten out of it is to see the confidence in everyone build up just over those few days that we've had together which has been really nice. Oh, I think being here and the help we've had, and they've been wonderful, wonderful, yeah. Really enjoyed it. <laughs>